Hello and Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 1, Section 7. We will present our next phase for our project, which is preliminary design or known as configuration design. My name is Hairina, the leader of this group. The rest of the members are Haki Baha, Emmanuel, Fazrina, and Shahira. The next phase of the conceptual design is embodiment design and also detailed design and costing. For this video, we will explain about our detailed design, functionality, feasibility, analysis, and our product technical specification. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Haki Bahar. I will present about detail or completeness of design. This is our details design concept sketching that have a several part of component. As you can see, it has battery, motor, tire, remote control, receiver, side discharge, chassis, body cover, blades, bolt and nuts. Our project dimension is uh, 70 cm of length, 55 cm of wide, 30 cm of height. We also use lithium iron battery which is capacity for 1000 mAh per hour that supply 12 volt and output current is 1600 watt. Body frame and chassis, we fabricate both of them using mite steel. We use rear wheel drive because it's made simple for movement. As example, for go straight, both of wheel need to rotate clockwise. And for turn, need one of wheel to rotate counterclockwise. We use to DC motor for rotating rear wheels and one more of motor is for rotate the blade. The DC motor that we purchase comes with 12 volt and 3000 rpm. The blade that we use is gato blades which is made more quality cutting of grass. Gato blade is also the best combination for side discharge that we use because both of them great for discharging and begging. The side discharge that we purchase is making from hard plastic. It can easily throw up the grass from edge. Finally, we purchase remote control by using radio frequency. The remote control send the signal from transmitter to receiver that we place on the product. Uh, from that, it is able to control our product from a certain distance. Next, I will present about functionality. There are three the most vital needed in our functionality. The first is less noise. A common complaint among customers is the higher noise level of machine, which they often encounter. Most of low mover comes with few engine that making a loud noise. So we create a product that can reduce noise by using electrical energy from batteries and electric motors. The second is is maintenance. With the absence of a fuel engine, the only real maintenance and electric low mover need is cleaning. They don't have to think too much about low mover care like changing engine oil, spark plug, new air filter, carburetor servicing, and other than that. The third is remote control function. We provide the product with a remote control function to make the low mover more convenient to use, which allow the user to switch the moving mode and control the moving direction of several distance. 
it will make the lawn mower more user friendly. For the next part, I will explain about our engineering analysis. There are a few things that we are considering to analyze. They are analysis on V belt, on gears, on fatty failure, and also on drive shaft. For V belt, we are designing a suitable belt to run our lawn mower smoothly. To do that, we are assuming our motor is 15 horsepower running at 3000 RPM. Refer to industrial V belt selection chart, the most suitable belt is 3 V belt. From here, we can calculate the suitable driver and driven diameter, length of belt, the tension, and the power transmission to design a proper V belt for our lawn mower. These are the formulas that we will be using to calculate the related data for determining the suitable V belt. We have learned to calculate the tension and the power transmission in mechanical design course this semester. We will be applying this knowledge to analyze our V belt for our lawn mower. For gear analysis, we will select the suitable set of gears for the moving mechanism of our lawn mower. We will apply our mechanical design knowledge for this analysis. The suitable gears are for the smooth operation of the lawn mower. We will determine the suitable pitch diameter, number of teeth, and the pressure of angle using this formula which the horsepower and the pinion speed is assumed. For the fatigue failure, we decided to calculate the gear and the blade using NCs. Why gear and blade? Because gear have the potential to break when it is used for a long time, so does the blade. We will analyze them to choose the most suitable material of the parts to reduce the chance of them being damaged, rust, dull, or fail. By using NCs, we can compare every possible material we'll be using for our gear and blade. To compare each possible material, the total deformation, equivalent stress, and the safety factor is taken into consideration for our analysis. Next, for the drive shaft. For this analysis, we will be using the analytical approach to balance the shaft. As we know, a shaft is balanced if the moment polygon and force polygon is close to show that both resultant moment and resultant force is zero. Both equations can be resolved to x and y axis. The next part is DFMA. Design for manufacturing and assembly is an engineering methodology that focuses on reducing time to market and total production costs by prioritizing both the ease of manufacture for the product's parts and the simplified assembly of those parts into the final product. DFMA is Integration of Product Design DFA and Process Planning DFM that focuses on ease of manufacture and efficiency of assembly. For framework, the material that we decided to use is mild steel. For the shape, we made it in this shape as it can reduce the space and easy to move. We will also make it rounded edge to make it not dangerous to the consumers and can prevent from any injuries. For this part, we have identified that safety as an important design for X DFX issues. Safety is a rel relative protection from exposure to hazards. As for the design for environment DFE, we are making sure to minimize the energy utilization and minimize the emission of waste, scrap, and byproduct from the fabrication process in the workshop. We will also use and calculate the safety factor as it is the oldest and simplest stress strength model. The ratio of the strength divided by the stress is how to determine the safety factor. We will be using bolts and nuts to assemble most of the components and modular parts because it is the easiest way to attach and detach the parts. The bolt used in this product is M5 with a length of 10mm type. It will slide into a socket to fasten and hold the objects or materials together and position into fixed place. The nut will be used to tie the bolt together to hold the parts together. 
It is used in conjunction of the nut with the mating bolt to fasten the multiple parts together. The standard used for the nut is a M5 with a hexagonal head. Even though we are using bolts and nuts to assemble most of the parts, we will minimize the usage of them for easy assembly. For this part, we will use sheet metal as the material on purpose. Sheet metal is a metal that formed by an industrial process into thin, flat pieces. Sheet metal is one of the fundamental forms used in metalworking and it can be cut and bent into a variety of shapes. Countless objects on these days are fabricated from sheet metal. Thickness can vary significantly. Extremely thin sheets are considered foil or leaf. For this bracket, we will fabricate it to be like L shape. It is to attach the motor to the frame and battery to the frame, which this process is to combine two components in different axes. This is what we call design for assembly because it combines one component to another component and this bracket was fabricated to ease the assembly part by connecting the components. This bracket is comfortable to use as it is a component that we call user-friendly and it just requires minimal human power to use it. Then, we can optimize the manufacturing process. Also, for this part, we have identified that safety as an important design for X, DFX issues. As for the design of environment, we managed to fabricate this bracket and it can be recyclable and can be used in long term as well as it has a long life. This will optimize the usage of energy and reduce the waste of product. Hello and good day. My name is Emmanuel and I'll be presenting the failure mode and effects analysis for our project. The FMEA is a document of our current knowledge and actions about risks of failures of components in the lawnmower and use in its continuous improvement. So the FME is basically used to prevent design and function failures and begins at the very early conceptual stages of design and continues throughout the life and service of the product. So this is the general table for the FMEA that we use for lawn mower. So the components that are processed here are belts that we use in our lawn mower, our motor, the blades that we use, our battery and our body. So the most high risk means of failure in the lawn mower, which is the components with the highest RPN, the risk priority number, uh, are the blades and the battery of the mower. So none of the RPN values values reach 100 or more than 100, uh, with the highest being the battery at 75 RPM. And all of the failures can be detected in preliminary stages so we can have countermeasures uh, very early on. And some failures are due to wear and tear of the mower, which can be maintained uh, later on. The next subtopic that I am going to discuss is on human factors and feasibility of the lawn mower. So human factors, or we can refer to as ergonomics, involves how the customer uses the technology and how it interconnects to ergonomic importance. So ergonomics is crucial for our product as the safety and comfort of customers is our top priority. So the ergonomics of this product includes safety control, a minimal human effort or very less power required by the customer, the user, and the better body posture. So the next thing is uh, some ergonomics factors and design recommendations for our lawnmower. So the first ergonomics factor would be the ease of operability. So the recommendation is that the remote controller should be easy to use, easy to operate and um, user friendly for our customers. And next, the grass compartment bag should be easily detachable so that they can uh, detach it and uh, attach it back easily. The next uh, factor is the safety of components. So the blade should have a blade cover that should be fitted to provide protection in case of accidents. Uh, the body cover should be fitted perfectly to protect our components from any uh, external damage. And there should be an emergency stop button on the controller in case anything goes wrong and uh, it can stop the mower from uh, functioning uh, easily so that you don't have to uh, 
switch off the motor or the engine. So the next economic factor is uh, ease of maintenance. Uh, components that wear out or become unusable uh, should be and can be easily replaced. The next economic factor is the environmental hazard. Uh, users, when they are operating our lawn mower, they have a very safe distance from it, so avoiding any accidents, as they will be operating from our remote control and uh, have a very safe distance, a significantly safe distance from it, so it can avoid any accidents. And users are also advised to wear safety goggles to protect themselves, to protect their eyes mainly from uh, flying grass debris. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Fazrina and I will present about the components, materials, processes and tools that been used for this project. For the first part is components where it is fabricated or purchased. So for our project, the component that we decided to fabricate is the framework or body of the lawn mower. This framework serves as a support to mower internal mechanical components and body. This is to increase the mower's body resistance to static and dynamic stresses which preventing excessive deflection or distortion. There are 12 components that we decided to purchase which are power source, battery, wheels, remote controller, motor, blade and the blade cover, grass compartment, gear and belt, pulley and drive shaft and lastly his hinge. The second part, I will present about the material of the component. For the fabricated component which is the framework or body of the project, we use mild steel as the material. There are three types of mild steel that we use which are mild steel plate, mild steel hollow bar and mild steel rod. The third part is processes. Processes can be defined as a collection of activities that takes one or more kinds of inputs and create a useful output that is valued to the customers. There are several types of processes that need to be done to make this project. First is cutting. Cutting process is used to remove the material from the surface of the workpiece. For this project, mild steel plate and mild steel hollow bar must be cut into desired dimension and shape. The machine used are bench cutting machine and hydraulic cutting machine. Second process is welding. It is used to make permanent joints. We use MIG welding machine for this project. Third process is drilling. This is a process that uses drill bit to cut a hole of circular cross section in solid material. The removal of metal in this operation is by shearing and extrusion. Bench drilling machine and portable drilling machine are used in this project. Next process is grinding. It is a process of removing material by abrasive action of a revolving material of a workpiece to bring it into shape required and size. Portable grinding machine is used in this project. The last process is assembly. It is a process that the variation synthetic production during which part are combined. It is also referred to as an assembly line or production line. After all processes, the part will be assembled to make one solid structure. The last part that I will present is tool. There are several tools that have been used to make this project. First are bench cutting machine and hydraulic cutting machine. Bench cutting machine is used to cut hollow bar into desired dimension for the frame of the project. Hydraulic cutting machine is used to cut the steel plate to make the pellet. Before the cutting process occur, it need to be measured and marked into desired dimension. Next is MIG welding or known as gas metal arc welding machine. All material that has been cut will be weld so they can become the framework or body. Third tools are bench drilling machine and portable drilling machine. Workpiece with the exact location marked on it with the center punch is clamped rigidly on the work table. The machine is started and drill bits is lowered by rotating feet handle and drill bits will touch the workpiece and start removing material. The small and reasonably light hand drills are run by a high speed electric motor. Last tool is portable grinding machine. 
Grinding is used to finish the workpiece that must show high surface quality, for example, low surface roughness and high accuracy of shape and dimension. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Shaira Binti Sharuza. For my part of this presentation, we did a survey and research using internet medium to get the information about cost development. This project focused on a few main components and material which is lithium ion battery as power source. Second is lawn mower wheel made of rubber. Third is radio frequency remote. Fourth is permanent magnet DC motor. Fifth is kettle blade made from stainless steel. Six is grass compartment from plastic, frame and body from my steel and blade cover made of plastic, gear made from aluminium, belt from rubber, pulley from aluminium, drive shaft from stainless steel and hinge from aluminium. For quantity part of our project, we use one power source, four wheels, one remote controller, three motors, one blade, one grass compartment, few inches of my steel at framework or body, one blade cover, one set of gear, one belt, pulley, drive shaft and hinge. For cost per unit of our project, lithium ion battery is 40 ringgit. Second is lawn mower wheels for 30 ringgit per set. Third is radio frequency remote controller for 40 ringgit. Fourth is permanent magnet DC motor for 40 ringgit. Component number five is kettle blades for 14 ringgit. Six is grass compartment for 60 ringgit. Blade cover for 8 ringgit, one set of gear for 20 ringgit, belt for 5 ringgit, pulley for 25 ringgit, drive shaft 20 ringgit, and lastly is hinge for 10 ringgit. Estimate total components and material cost for our project is 432 ringgit. And for the time management, our group has decided to follow the following gun chart which has been planned. For the first and second week, we focus on the title generation, details and data collection on week 2 and 3, market and product survey were done in 2, 3 and 4, data analysis on week 3 and 4, for house of quality discussion and product design specification discussion were carried out on week 4, 5 and 6. Proposal presentation on week 6, concept design generation and final selection discussion on week 6, 7 and 8. Final design presentation on week 8 and 9. Engineering analysis generation on week 8, 9, 10 and 11. Preliminary presentation on week 10 and 11. Then engineering drawing generation on week 10 to 13. For the final report generation, we will submit on week 12 to 14. So as a conclusion, we hope our group has provided significant valuable information about our round mower and its functions. We hope that the preliminary designs can also be further improved in the future and help in the development process of our remote controlled mini lawnmower. Thank you.